if it were somehow possible for me to place the literary attributes of, like, say, a James Baldwin, along with maybe a Richard Wright, together simultaneously in one bottle, I would do so. And only after making sure that the proper fork has been placed on top, would I then toss this very bottle into the clearest and saltiest of all seas in which afterwards I would run to the nearest mountain top for help and pray for the both of them to return now, seven years later, washed up on the shore of the cell. Only to then dare be open such a bottle, placing it to my lips and tasting what the inside is like. You see, the slight taste of activity might motivate me to sit down and write my thoughts upon truth in one's life or what it must seem like. To write upon the truth in my life and how it must simply live. A blinding truth, mind you, which may or may not now parallel the breastfeeding of a young and tail, whose mother is not going to the path that lies dormant for her son, and so she continues to feed as we all do into this grand delusion of our label fear. But, just for the record, I don't fear none of you motherfuckers. Because motherfuckers like y'all don't think simply. But then again, we are simply lost individuals in a new foundation. We are those who claim to seek happiness, yet in all actuality, what we seek is permanent gratification, learning difference. For it's literally a matter of life and death, being then simply not, fuck food for thought. I'll get straight to the point now and give you a recipe for freedom. A glass of water, two teaspoons of heart full of imagination, which is substantial body salt. Mixed all together now with just a few droplets of vaginal blood, and there you have it. The very shit that makes it somewhat possible for a nigga like me, and this incredibly made to become capable of transcending the necro with the negro. For such a word you see is so contradictory to one's purpose. Necro means death, and I choose to live simply. Some like my birthright. This is plain my right right. Writing wrongs. And if it's true that three rights make a left, then I must explain that while my past has now been so long. Through hours once a leader, but soon roll myself back into mourning. My words. My verb to volatile. My metaphors to mulling. My similes to serving. Especially when I should be therapeutic in nature. Especially when I should be expressing my will to live. But God damn, the Eastern will to live means absolutely nothing in the Western world where so many of us are so goddamn willing to die. Which is absolutely why, as a people, we must all one day with revolutionary flair and throw with that small piece of precious land built upon my ancestors' knowledge of the compass of the square, aka the nation's capital, and demand now that our families be released, that our cultures and languages are given back, and that the perversions of our rituals, our gods, and our goddesses come to an end. But we should no longer tolerate these metaphors of oppression. Understand the path in which we once walked is now dead. Point blank, it can no longer be. Because to bring it back to what James Baldwin wrote in 1963, if we do not now bear everything, the fulfillment of that prophecy, be created from the Bible and sown by slaves upon us today in these modern day times. For God gave no the rainbow sign. No more water, but the fire next time.